Oh my gosh, this fish. Jeez, listen to that run. Lord have mercy. Uh-oh. Oh my gosh, do not spool me, fish. Do not spool me. What's up, everybody? Chat Cats here. Welcome to today's episode. I am fishing the lock of Chickamauga Dam here in Chattanooga, Tennessee. You can see this is the lock right here. But then over here is a mouth creek to North Chickamauga Creek. And then everything else here is part of the river. And today we are going for catfish and carp. I got two rods, one right here and the other one right here. I got a pack bait on both of them. This one has a boilie and the other one has banana flavor corn using a hair rig on both rods. I've never fished here for carp. I have fished here for catfish with cut bait in the past. We're just gonna see what we can get. We do have a lot of boat traffic moving in and out, so that may not be a good thing for the carp since they get spooked easily. Like we got another boat coming in this way and it's just how it is when you're fishing around locks. But I'm gonna give this spot an hour or so. I just wanted to see if we could get anything here. I mean, this whole area looks pretty good for bass, catfish, buffalo, carp. Uh, you got some structure, got a lot of rocks. We're just gonna give it a whirl and see what we can get, so stay tuned. Fish on, guys. We go. This is our first carp of the day. Only took about not even ten minutes. Now this one's on the boilie. Whoa, he's running. I gotta make sure I keep him out of that other line. There's a lot of rocks down there, so I need to be extra careful. Could be a buffalo, never know. Wait, that's a, that looked like a channel. That's a channel cat. Oh, wait a second, that may be a, no, nope, that's a channel. I thought it was a carp. That's okay though. There we go. That's a good size channel cat. Right on the boilie. There we go. Nice channel cat, probably a solid three pounds or so. There he goes. Back to the depths. This came on the boilie, which I've caught channel catfish with this before, but it's primarily used for carp. So I figured why not try to kill two birds with one stone and just use a bait that's good for both types of fish, catfish and carp. I'm gonna go ahead and 
put the pack bait back on. Now the point of a pack bait is to chum that area when it hits the bottom. So the pack bait will break apart in the water, essentially creating a chum to attract the fish to the area. And as you can see, I still have some of the pack bait on here and that channel cat went straight for the boilie. It's different than what the pack bait is. So this is something that just kind of stands out to them. If you watch one of my previous videos, I show you guys how to make this pack bait or tell you the ingredients in it. Pretty easy to make. Luke Nichols makes this stuff as well. I'm gonna go a little more over here where it's deeper. That one's only maybe, I don't know, five yards or so. It's kind of a whippy rod, not as stiff as the other one is. There we go, guys. Pretty sure this is a carp. Maybe. This one's on the corn. I can feel the line rubbing against the rocks. That's what kind of concerns me. Pretty sure this one's a carp. There he is. There we go, guys. Oh, he came off right at the bank. Oh. Right at the bank, he came off. Well. That sucks. There's carp in the area, so that's a good thing. I think I waited around 45 minutes to get a carp. Oh, I got a bite there. I got another one running over here, guys. I got to get. You hear this? Look at this one. This is definitely a carp. Yep. This is a big fish. Big fish. Very big fish. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. 
This one's big. Just listen to that. Trying to keep very good pressure on them. I just hope this fish does not spool me because I don't have much line on this reel. Whoa, that thing was just going and going. It may walk me all the way around. Guys, this fish is taking me to Chinatown. Look at this, look at this, look at this. I'm having to walk down the bank with this fish. This may be my PB carp. Oh, I think I just saw him. Oh my gosh. This fish is taking me just right down the bank. Just hope I do not lose this fish. After that other one that we just lost. Okay, I see the method feeder. But I do not see the fish. Oh my gosh, I see him. He's huge. Oh my goodness. He's huge, guys. I need my net. Why did I leave my net all the way over there? I thought I lost him there. Oh my gosh, this fish. Jeez, listen to that run. Lord have mercy. Uh-oh. Oh my gosh, do not spool me, fish. Do not spool me. Oh my gosh. Guys, I can't control them. I cannot control this fish. That thing just went on an absolute mad run. I had to tighten up the drag just a little bit because this fish is very big. Very, very big. This is definitely my new PB, I think. I've never, in all my years of fishing, had a fish pull as hard as that one is just doing i just hope i do not lose him this fish has got me so nervous right now this is where light tackle and big fish do not go hand in hand fishing from the bank especially it's like playing with fire no joke oh my goodness i need my net bad He's going to give up. We just got to let him wear himself out. That run was insane. I mean, I see him back there. He's right over there. Okay, now he's swimming towards me. That's good. I'm gaining some ground. Gaining some ground. There he goes again.
This boat concerns me, guys. Oh no. That boat right there, guys. as big as I think but nonetheless a good fish wait I think he's snagged in the side yeah he snagged in the side how in the heck did that happen no wonder he fought so hard got him look at this he got hooked right behind his fin right there. He started to take the bait and then I just hooked him right in the side. Okay, so we got it. 19.3, 19.3 minus the net. You're looking at a solid 18 pounder. Good fish. beautiful fish what a fight this was he was not hooked in the mouth but right in the belly but a very beautiful solid fish enjoyed the fight that was on 10 pound monofilament line just crazy look at this fish let's go ahead and release him look at that fish I think she's ready. There she goes. Back into the depths. Look at this. Yep, another carp. Here's this one. Give a good release on him. There he goes. Okay, so I've been waiting here for, I don't know now, maybe close to an hour and a half and haven't had anything, not even a run. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and call it, pack it up and not a bad day guys. We caught three fish, two carp, a little bit of chaos there with that big one on that whippy rod, but I really can't complain. It was a pretty good day. I've never fished for carp here. Actually, this is my first time catching a catfish here too. I did catch one down here when the creek was outrageously flooded. And that was back in like February. Oh, I'm gonna run. Just had a run. Did you guys see that? Yep, I may have something on here. 
Yep, I got something. Something's on here. Yep, there we go. That's a carp, I think. Wow, right when I was doing my outro. Ooh. This one has some shoulders on them. Oh yeah. I don't think he's too big. But he's powerful. I'm gonna try to keep him down a little bit because I have my other rod over here. I was about to pack it up and he's just taking me wherever he wants again. This is like the same thing. It's like the same thing taking me all the way over here. Yeah, he's small. Just has a lot of power. But nonetheless, it's a good fish. Oh wait, that, that's pretty big. I thought it was small. That, that one may be like 15 pounds or something. That one has a belly. Yeah, that one's fat. That one's fat, look at that. That one's a lot better than I thought. Now this one is hooked in the mouth, so that's good. There we go, we got him. 17.13, 16 pounds. This one is 16 pounds. Nice, beautiful common here. Came on the banana flavor corn. We're gonna go ahead and release them. All right, here we go. There she goes. She's kicking. Back to the depths. Okay, so we caught three carp today. That's a pretty good day. I want you guys to comment whether you like these carp fishing videos. Cat fishing's my bread and butter. Uh, I love going for big cats, but I don't know, carp fishing's just been something that's just ignited me to want to go after them they fight hard they pull hard and in some ways they fight harder than catfish do i mean they just don't get as big as catfish but they are fun to catch and i want to know what you guys think as always give a thumbs up for this video and we'll see you later